Hey, what's up everyone? Uh, it's Friday and I hope uh, you guys go into the weekend uh, with something other than what I got, which is COVID. So I have spent this last week dealing with the symptoms, which, you know, I haven't been too bad. It's been like the foggy brain, crazy headache, um, my eyes hurt, my skin hurts. That's about it. Um, so anyway, I wanted to take a moment, make a video that uh, addresses the tampon video. I did a live the other day, but I guess it didn't save. So I'm just going to repeat some of what I said the other day. Um, first and foremost, the tampon video I built a couple of years ago, posted it, and then within days, I deleted it. Um, we had a series of satire videos with taboo off-the-shelf items. And uh, I guess in the time that it was up, somebody probably put it somewhere else and went somewhere else and it went somewhere else. And here we are a year or two later. And uh, the thing ended up on TikTok. And then on TikTok, who would have thought it thing went uh, like 15 million views, right? So in that time, I've received uh, a generous amount of hate mail, <laughs> to say the least. A lot of great memes. Um, and then you've got just straight up pricks, assholes out there that are just taking advantage of the moment, which is fine. Whatever. Uh, whatever makes you guys happy. Um, so to clarify, uh, tampons, I am not suggesting that tampons in some form or fashion are a primary stopgap, a secondary stopgap, even a tertiary stopgap uh, to stopping a major bleeder. Um, the reality is, is uh, a tampon like this only has about this much cotton inside. And this is cellucotton. Now, cellucotton has an interesting history because it was invented and created to be the better war wound therapy bandage during World War I or World War II or some shit like that. Uh, but, uh, and, then, and then once the wars were over, cellucotton then became Kotex and Kleenex and other big brand names that we use every day. But the reality is, no matter its history, um, this is not enough to stop a bleeder. You would literally need hundreds of these things, right? Um, so I guess if you're on a deserted island with only a box of tampons, butt naked, the patient's butt naked, and somebody's bleeding out, then yeah, why not? Um, but otherwise, they shouldn't be used as a stopgap. Um, and which is also the main reason I ended up actually pulling the video. Uh, because I had some professional folks hit me up and say, hey, the uneducated, untrained person is going to see you talking about this and um, and they're going to think it's some primary form of, uh, you know, treating someone, which is just not the case. So, uh, number one, I don't support them as primary, secondary, tertiary stop gaps for bleeders. Um, number two, uh, the video, nor do I support these as to replace Curlex, pressure dressings, curvats, uh, hemostatic dressings, or any other medically proven piece of technology. I didn't say that. Um, I did not suggest that you should dump out your med bag, uh, your blowout kits, or anything else that you're carrying and replace it with feminine products, okay? I didn't say that, <laughs> but somehow uh, a lot of stuff has been taken out of context and uh, turned into memes, hate mail, and everything else. And uh, I get all of your points, I do. And that is exactly why I deleted the video years ago, or a year and a half ago, two years. I don't, I, I have a horrible memory, so I can't keep track of time. But it was deleted for those reasons the first time. And uh, the last couple of days, I've taken some steps to try and mitigate this, this, this video. Uh, I reached out. Uh, to the folks who uh, who have the biggest views, which is mainly this uh, this one guy on TikTok, and zero response. And the reality is, when you're getting 15 million views on uh, on a video you poached, you're probably not going to respond, and you're probably not going to delete it. Um, but I didn't authorize it, and uh, and at the end of the day, uh, I deleted it because. 
I didn't want the untrained, uh, uneducated person to think that somehow this little bit of cotton is going to save a life. Um, all right. So I hope, uh, I hope everyone has a safe weekend. Um, and I'll uh, be checking in with you guys later. Thanks. Bye.